Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the kind of flash with. Oh, you missed the uh, Jason. Yeah, I got what you that's our Good morning, everybody. With Jason and Jason and Orly. Hello, everyone. You guys know if you've been watching our broadcast, we cannot get our intro right, which I think is part yeah. of the beauty of this show. I really yeah. do. That's why they tune in, Jason. That's right. See, they're going to tune out now because it's that part's done, and they've been like excited. It's over. They're like, how are they going to screw this up? Boom. <laughs> Wonderful. So we do want to welcome you guys though this morning. Uh, as, or sorry, I say morning, and we got to remember, or at least like getting ready for bed. I'm getting up. Okay, it's not bed. I go. I've been going to bed at four a.m. It's only four p.m. here. I have a whole other day ahead of me. Don't let her fool you. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> There's definitely a nap in the, in the, in the, in the plans here. So <laughs> we have so much going on, you guys. Orly, I know you've been busy. I've been busy for Life Vest doing all sorts of great things. Our group leaders are going crazy as they're getting ramped up for DFK. Yes. Um, and uh, I just kind of want to rattle off our announcements as we've got a few people coming on. Syed, you're on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'd love to have you here. Um, I do too, and I've never met him, but I'm going to take your word for it. You're, you gave him a good recommendation. He is amazing, and his comments and his feedback always makes me happy, so I love it. Well, he says it's good to see you. He didn't say good to see you, Jason, but I'm sure that one was for you. So uh, I won't hold it personally. So, Orly, tell us what's going on in the world of Life Vest this week. Okay, well, first off, as you guys know, every single Monday you can join me at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Facebook and also on YouTube. We are going to be having our uh, our kindness kickoff with Orly where I do reading from my book and give you guys a really cool kindness challenge. This week's kindness challenge is to surprise a friend with a much needed gift. And I'm really excited because I had an opportunity just earlier, just a couple hours ago to head out there and get my gift from my very special friend. Uh, I don't want to say what it is right now because in case she ends up finding this video and watching it, it's going to ruin the surprise. But I'm going to be... <laughs> Gifting it to her tonight, and I really, really can't wait. So you could join us Mondays. It's going to be on our YouTube channel at, at Life Fest Inside. It'll also be posted here on our Facebook channel as well. Uh, on Wednesdays, every Wednesdays, you know, you can join Jason and I for the Kindness Flash with Jason and Orly, which will also be posted on both channels that you can uh, that you can check out there. Every single month, we send out a newsletter called the Kindness Flash, and basically, it focuses on a specific theme of kindness. And this month's theme is a theme of endurance. And in this newsletter, you'll get like an act, a quote, a talk, a song, a video, a book, all to do with that specific theme. It's really amazing. Plus, you get to hear a little bit about my own thoughts to do with the specific theme. So check it out. You could sign up really easily. All you need to do in order to sign up is go to uh, lifeessinside.com. And in the top right corner, there is a sign up button. And there you'll have the opportunity to sign up for one or both of our newsletters, either the monthly newsletter, the Kindness Flash, or the Daily Kind, which is our daily newsletter. It goes out every Monday through Friday. And finally, last but not least, guys, Dance for Kindness is the most exciting event that we have the entire year. It's coming up November 11th, Sunday, November 11th, and we hope that you can join us. We've not opened up dance registration because I've had some people reach out to me and say, I can't sign up for an, my, my, for an event in my location. That's because it's not open yet. Right now, what we're doing is we're doing group leader applications, meaning all people from around the globe have the opportunity to sign up and represent their specific city. It is a spectacular event, and what you're going to receive from it, the skills, the resources, the friendships, the connections, is absolutely incredible. We have over 100 group leaders signed on board so far, and we want you to join us. We're going to be closing group leader registration shortly, and all you need to do in order to do that is go to danceforkindness.com. There you'll be able to see the videos. You'll understand what this event is about, this amazing flash mob. We are also raising money for nonprofits all throughout the world this year. Funds from every single location 10% uh, of funds are going to be donated to local nonprofits. So if you're a group leader, you can select a nonprofit in your city that you're really passionate about and have an opportunity to really make a big difference and make a big impact. So check it out at uh, danceforkindness.com, just like we said. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on right now, a lot of updates about what's happening here, uh, the work that I'm doing here right now in Jerusalem. We're going to be having our flagship location in, in Israel this year, which is going to be super exciting. Uh, and there's so many more updates, but I, I don't want to take up all of our time talking about all that. Uh, tune in. We're gonna. I'll be giving up. I'll be giving weekly updates uh, every so often now 
um, moving forward it was because the dance for kindness coming up and all the exciting things happening. So, Jason. Yeah. Thank you for, for having me. Thank you for, Thanks for having me here today. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So we talked before about, you know, obviously we've, we've got a couple weeks here of endurance. We're moving on through endurance. It takes endurance to talk about endurance is what I was saying. Um, a couple weeks back, I threw up a definition that you guys uh, regarded related to endurance. And it said, and it's on your screen, it's the power to withstand pain or hardship and the ability or strength to continue despite fatigue, stress, or other adverse conditions. And you know, I think that's a good place to start. I think it's good to start back at the beginning. Cause this week, uh, my big thing has been, uh, I was thinking about the pain of endurance because it talks about it right in the title again, but how that leads to growth. So it's not just about pain. It's not just about endurance. We don't endure. A, a, a marathon runner doesn't do a marathon for the excitement of the pain. What they do is they do the marathon for the excitement of overcoming physically and mentally the pain. It's about overcoming and persevering. And, it, you know, so I was, I was watching this clip just literally early um, yesterday about, and I don't even know, it was in New York. It was the New York Marathon. And it was these two guys. It was actually three, uh, about a mile towards the end of a full the New York Marathon. Um, they're, you know, 25 miles in. And these three gentlemen kick it into high gear like they were just doing a 50-yard dash. It's like, where does this come from? And it's that spirit of endurance, whether it's running a marathon where these guys literally sprint their last mile of a race and dive across the finish line. Because they endured, they overcame. They said, you know what? This pain thing is a temporary deal. The outcome from it can be monumental. And so they don't get caught in those stumbling blocks and, and uh, tripping hazards and stuff. They look past them. Nothing will get in their way. And I think that's what we need to do with whether we're a kid at school going back and we're studying for homework. You know what? I don't want to. I don't want. But sometimes you just do it and you endure it. And in the end, the outcome is magnificent. Or in our jobs, our relationships, just because things get difficult mentally or physically doesn't mean we drop out. What do you think about that? I know, dropping you on. Uh, well, first of all, I mean, I think that everything you said is very, very, very relevant. I think it's it's not just about enduring the pain. I think that a person that is going through something or wanting to endure something, is that they're wanting to actually get back to get back to themselves, um, sure. be able to to become a better them, uh, and and, that, and that's what really endurance takes. And we were we were we were talking about in the past this concept of when we're looking to. To, to overcome, but not just overcome, when we're looking to accomplish something, it's about how, well, why is endurance relevant? Because we have to create a distance based on how, what is our time limit of when we're looking to actually get there? Because that distance is what gives that person at the end of the marathon that extra oomph that you just mentioned. It's knowing that you're almost there, you're almost at the finish line. Uh, mm -hmm. And which is why it's very important to celebrate accomplishments when you're looking to endure. Uh, you have to celebrate your accomplishments because those, those celebrations help us to feel and understand that we are getting closer to the finish line. That even though Absolutely. it seems like it's so far away, we, we took a step. Uh, and, and very, very, very rarely do we, do we stop and, and look back and celebrate our accomplishments. We are usually looking forward at what is left yet to get done. What are all the things on the to-do list still not done? How far do I have left to go? Right? You know how you know the, you know the 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 uh, the phrase that kids say when they're in the car, or Jason could also say this in the car. You know, hey. are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah. Because we're when we're focusing on, on the are we there yet, we're forgetting to actually be, and that's very very important. When you're enduring, when you are overcoming, when you're reaching a goal, the idea of enduring is actually feeling the moments. It's not just being at the destination, it's, it's living in the moment. Because when a person is enduring, they're understanding that being in the moment, that that journey is there to teach them something. It's not just about, you know, the person that wants to be a marathon runner isn't happy if there's somebody that comes up and says, hey, jump in my car, nobody will see you and I'll get you to the finish line. No, it's not about, 
the finish line. It's about the process of getting to the finish line. It's not about cutting corners. It's knowing that the journey is where the greatest growth comes from. Getting there is fantastic and it makes us feel great. But what we remember is we remember, we remember the journey. Uh, and, and, and you know, it's funny, I was talking about the fact that it's been, look, it's been seven years in which life has inside has been in existence, right? And I always keep saying, I'm like, I wish, I remember the very, very beginning of the organization, I said, I wanna be able to keep a journal. I wanna be able to do this throughout the entire process of what's going on, the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. And I was so sad, and I was telling one of my friends, I'm like, I'm so sad that I didn't do that. It would've been crazy to look back at it because I did find like a recording from before I even started the organization when I'm talking about, I don't even know if this is gonna happen. Am I gonna be able to do this? And I said, <laughs> oh, it's too late already. It's already seven years in. She said, orderly, it's not too late already. Now is the time to start it. You can start it now. The organization is gonna be in existence for forever. What, what was the point? Why did I want to have this? Because it's, why do people love keeping journals? Why? You're already where you're at. You're not going backwards. But it's because they're there to teach us lessons of what we felt during those moments, during that time of endurance. We can be the champion afterwards. But what happened when we were growing? What, what did we feel during those growing pains? I think that that's where we learn the most about ourselves and, and, and how we get to become, how we get to, to um, really get to a better self. It's I think there's a lot of, well, yeah, and I think there's a lot of learning also because you can have, I've, I moved beyond, I'm seven years beyond and I'm looking back and I'm learning massive, I'm learning chapters about what I've done, where I've been, where I'm going. Um, and I, but I also think sometimes in the moment when we think that nothing's happening, that we learn just as much. Last week, uh, Orly, you and I chatted uh, about our photo of the month from the kindness flash. And actually I do have it loaded here today. So I'm blowing it up here for people. Uh, just so in case they didn't see it in the, in the comments last week, you know, you look at this rowboat and there's this guy and he's, he's working, right? And you look below the surface of the water and there's all those things. And I, and I look at those as representations of his life of how I looked at it. It's like, these are all things that he tried, he started out on and they just didn't work, but he's, He's enduring and he's got another boat and he's doing it again and he failed again and it sank and he's got another boat and that's endurance and there's a lot of pain but you don't give up on something on a on a, on a first thing let's say lo he loses his oars and he's sitting there um, I also look at it like a, if it was a sailboat and he's sitting there with a sail that has zero wind um, but you know when I look at this picture there is a massive current underneath that boat right now so regardless if he rows or there's winds in his sail He's going to have in the direction that he needs to go journey because who knows what miraculous things it's going to lead him to. I love that. That's very, very, very true. Uh, and it's, a, it's not about not making mistakes the first time out. You have to make mistakes. That's what teaches us what to do and what not to do. Um, it's very, very normal. Uh, you know, in, in order to, to endure, you can't be a perfectionist. You have to just keep going and learn as you keep going. Yes, we're going to learn. We're going to make mistakes. When we get back up. We continue to row, just like Jason just said. Absolutely. You know, there's there's so many things. I mean, you look at. I also wanted to just highlight this week um, our song of the month because you said a word already today, about two minutes ago. You used the word champion, and our song of the month is "Champion" by Carrie Underwood, which really, for I'm a uh, PE teacher, it's an anthem in my class. Jason, um, I have to just say, I've been listening yeah. to the song non. Yeah. Stop. It's not crazy. Stop. Had you not heard of it before the flash? I didn't hear about it before. Once once it was there and we were like looking at different songs and I heard it, I'm like, oh my God, this is my favorite. I added it to the Life Us Inside playlist well, on our YouTube channel. Well, of course you did because it's that fabulous. And But what's cool about it is one of the lines in it, it talks, um, she's saying the words invincible, unbreakable, unstoppable, and unshakable. Okay, those are power words. Those are That's endurance at its finest. Um, but even more importantly, uh, when, the, when Ludacris hops in there with his rap and he goes through champion as an acronym, um, this is literally something and my school is gonna get ready for it because I'm gonna be painting this on the wall because it's that important. And champion stands for C for courage, H for hurt, because you know what? Endurance, we talked about, there's a pain component. It, sometimes it's not roses and happy all the time. It's about attitude. 
You got M for motivation because without motivation, for whatever reason that drives you, you can't endure. Uh, and perseverance for P. I is integrity. Why? Because we have to be accountable to ourselves first and foremost. And optimism. Okay, you can't really endure and have a really bad attitude. And then finally, N is necessary. It's necessary for us to endure. Why? Because the treasures of our endurance, how many times have we all had an opportunity in our life to do something, we endured through it, and it turned out tenfold better than we could have ever imagined? Orly sitting here talking about seven years ago with a thought in her head about, hey, I wonder if I can do this, Shirley. You know, her whole story and her sitting here now going, I had no idea it was going to go this direction. You know, it's, it's necessary for us to go through these journeys of endurance because, again, I firmly believe the outcomes are magnificent. And, I, you know, Jason, I think that's something very important to, to take note to is the fact that the people that likely it is that the people that each and every one of you out there look up to, whoever they may be, whether, whether it's a celebrity or an athlete or a friend or a professor, right. whatever it is, I don't care who it is. Mm-hmm. Every single person that you look up to has endured. But very often we don't see the endurance. We just see right. the end result. We see, wow, they're so big and they're doing this and they're doing that and doing the other thing. And sometimes looking at what they're doing makes us feel like there's no way I can get there. But guess what? Every person has an endurance story. Every mm-hmm. single person that has achieved anything of value in this world has gone through those, pa- those times of pain and hurt and discouragement and questioning and wanting to give up and wanting to throw in a towel, everyone. But they continue to go because it, it means something to them. Those that are gonna continue pushing and pushing and pushing and wanting and wanting and not giving up, those are the people that achieve. So yeah. don't just think that it happens overnight, boom. It looks like sometimes, wow, this person became famous overnight. And they have all these stories about, wow, this person is, but if you look really into their story, you'll see it wasn't overnight. It took years and years of working and of failing and of, try, of crying and of hurting. And to get all that, that stuff, that- Orly, you know, one thing that they didn't lose though, every one of those people, those champion stories, they never lost the belief in the most important thing in their worth as a human being. They believed yeah. in themselves from start to finish ups, downs, and everything in between, that they never lost hope in themselves. That's just very true. So we want you guys to be out there and becoming champions your own right, just like we are striving to be champions, both of us, all of us, we're all striving to be champions in our own way. Yeah. To continue to believe in ourselves, to continue to endure, to know that there is that light at the end of the tunnel, and to remember to celebrate those moments, those pure moments of joy, as you're heading to that destination, remember to enjoy the journey, even the pain, pain moments within that journey. Isn't it crazy how we forget to celebrate, Orly? Isn't that, it, if you think about things in our lives, isn't it hysterical that we don't, we just like, success, move on. What's the next thing? And you know, um, and I'll just say, at my church, we had, we're doing a series right now on celebration, believe it or not, because our pastor goes, you know what, Jason? We don't know how to celebrate in our world. And my secretary told me, hold it, we're remodeling. So instead of just, we got our permits and let's now start demoing, why don't we stop and party and raise our hands and dance and be like, yo, we made a great step. Because you know what that does? When we celebrate that, we celebrate our coworkers and our family, our friends, our, our accomplishments. It recharges those batteries to help you endure. And, uh, it was really exciting for me to see that, to see people more and more in our community here and in, in, in life that's community about we've got to celebrate as group leaders are starting to talk. And I'm talking with them, too, about a dance for kindness. It's not about the dance. It's also about the celebration right after. Like, no, we did it. But now we're going to party together. Why? Because we're family. And that's the beautiful thing. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to. I think we're about ready to wrap up. What do you think, Orly? Are we okay? Yeah, I just want to make sure that we mention some of our things again. Uh, Jason, I'll let you take, I'll tell you take the lead on that. Okay. Um, just remember our Unifier campaign, guys. I really want you to come on and hang out with us. It's about giving a gift of gratitude this, this week. 
Um, all you have to do is, like I said, on the screen right there is go to lifevestinside.com forward slash unify. Uh, sign up. It's free, guys. It's free. Just come out, hang out, chat with us. And checking in is as easy as a selfie. So come out and do that. Obviously, she said DFK group leader registrations close right away. So go to danceforkindness.com ASAP to get that accomplished. Um, and we also do want to remind you of our shows. We have a show on Monday. We have our show here Wednesday. Um, signing up for our kindness flash and our newsletters. And don't forget, please, because we always forget, um, that we need you to go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Life Fest Inside over on our YouTube channel. We are so close to it. Exciting. Let me just say something. Do it. We are just about to hit the 100,000 subscriber mark and get our That's silver. That's what I was going to say. Money. I know. We're like, we're like 1,800 people away from our 100,000th subscriber. So it doesn't, as I've done a call to action recently at several things, guys, you need to tell people about Life Vest for them to enjoy Life Vest. So be part of our, our journey, be part of the family, and make sure people know about Life Vest Inside. But go out as yourself and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. And other than that, I've got nothing, Orly, except for planning just, for a fabulous and wonderful day. Yeah, I want to say I love you guys so much for joining us. Continue to do so. And we hope that you always remember that at the core of everything, this entire organization is about kindness. And it's that kindness is what keeps the world afloat. Each and every one of you out there have a way to impact change in this world. Open your eyes, open your heart, and start engaging with people. So thanks, guys, Absolutely. for joining us. We hope you join us again next week. And like I said, remember, it's kindness that keeps the world afloat. Bye now.